is this is a, a, a very quick offensive running team because of ball. What you have to be able to do if you're the Pacers is run it back at these Hornets because they do not get back with the same energy. You got to play defense the entire time because they run you all over the court. I mean, that, that's the thing that I noticed like, because I looked at the Toronto game. 16 points per game off turnovers. That's number two in the NBA. Levert inside. They're a good three-point shooting team. 37%. That's fourth in the NBA. And they're a good three-point shooting team, Chris, because leave open. Oh, my goodness. Nice defense. But Tazi, he's, he's just been a little bit more patient with himself. Nice pass. Got to take advantage of Plumlee's looking to help. Lobbed on the other end. You, you were writing down. Yeah. By the time you looked up. He had 27, matching his career high in the win at Golden State. And there's another basket. Pacers have a chance to take the lead. P.J. Washington is guarding Goga Bataze. Here's Lance. Terrific pass. Count the basket and a foul. Pacers four of six from three. Charlotte is four of seven. Pacers come back the other way. They'll run it right back at the Hornets. What a pass. Craig finishes. Duarte is the only Pacers starter on the floor, and that's in and a foul. Sometimes they scare you, but he is a guy that believes he can make shots. Really good action there. Quick deliver. Boy, they're really making non-ball handlers have to make plays. Pound it down. Oubre again. Well, so much for Oubre and Rozier. Here it is again. Bataze with the offensive go rebound. Back up. Yeah, go back up. Pacers have tied it now at 48. Book night. But they didn't get back. I mean, because ball through a length of the court. Been fighting for that. Not the, not the official. They can find. Um, oh, my goodness. He made that. <laughs> and another three by Justin Holliday. Duarte had it slapped away by ball. Running Oubre. He, he got that ball. I mean, they are quick to, to the ball. They really do. There he's right there. Now shoot it. That's the shot you gonna you can get. Because they're lazy on the defensive end. Win the season series with a sweep. And taken by Duarte. Pounds it down. And the Pacers oh, back in front. No. Charlotte's hit eight three-point shots as Washington goes inside. They've already shot 17 free throws, and then 14 for 17 uh, are the Hornets. Stevenson. <laughs> that had to be deflected. Yeah, he hit him in the mouth squarely with the elbow, but I didn't think he led, led with it. I'll let him shoot. Let him shoot. If you, run, you don't run to the corner. Martin puts it in. So five points to start. Ball with a left hand. Oh my goodness, you don't see people make it. No. I have never seen anybody make it. Just two of four at the free throw line in his last two trips. He has something, he has stuff you can't teach. Aubre pounds it home and the lead is double figures. We're going to have a hard time getting there. Oh, yeah, go, go. He got there that time. Health and safety protocol. That's off the mark for the offensive rebound. Craig Holiday. Off left. And Bataze hammers it down. All kinds of experience for Bataze. 13 and 5 rebounds as ball hits and is fouled. They have a 15-point lead. Washington gets inside. The 
that's a brick. Oh, not only not a brick. If not the best, one of the best first half teams in the NBA. Stevenson scores. And they nearly forced overtime. See if the Pacers can get back in it again here. Here's Stevenson again. And Craig has it. Three minutes to play. Third quarter. Mm. Rozier read that the whole way, knowing he was trying to get it back. Um, and as well as coffee. Jackson the steal. And the Pacers make it a run here at the end of the quarter. What you've got to do is take a good opportunity to look at some of the guys that you have and then make them. Oh my goodness, he made a bounce. I mean, that's a, a pass that they're able to get out. And it's taken away by Sykes, but bad pass by Jackson, and Oubre makes it's a pass. That kind of night. This is looking to try to see can you make a run to get them to call a timeout. Lamb has been playing well and really had, had a very good opportunity to get going here in this game. Pacer fourth quarters have been strong on the road trip. They average better than 33 points, but Oubre stays red hot. Oh. Pacers come up with a loose ball. Well, you got numbers, you got to make a play. Count the basket and a foul on Oubre. But what he doesn't do, he can't get his own shot. And the mellow ball, two more. He's got 22. Look, look how fast the Pacers have to play and see the kind of shots they've had to take. This is the, this is the way they get down, but he does that. Oubre, three more. I don't know if that was goaltending or not, but I mean, Plumley was clearly over the rim. You're getting into that kind of statement. A 29 point lead as Sykes scores his first points. Chris, I mean, he, he makes a really tough play. And Terry oh, Taylor. Well, a quick pass inside. This, I'll tell you what. Bridges. They're raining threes, Chris. He can't stay that hard. I mean, Chris, is that what, seven? Eight. Yeah. Oh, 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 he mishandled it. Oh. Eight of 13 for Oubre. Kelly Oubre was Indiana's blowout win here where they beat him 144-117 in the play-in. Do this deep into the season, do teams remember that? No. Offensively with 39. 10 threes for Kelly Oubre, Jackson. Did he shoot the same shots? That's what I'm trying to get across to the fans at home. They didn't shoot the same shots because the game is too fast. And a dominating second half performance by the Charlotte Hornets. It was 71 7.